Hey there guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Today is going to be the day of the Stardew Valley Fair, and we've got, I think, nine decently high quality items that we can give in for the display today, which I know is going to be quite a big factor in uh, getting tokens or something. I have not been to this festival before, as you know, if you've been watching the series, so I have no idea what exactly to expect from it. It looks like time is frozen, which is a good thing, because I think this is going to take quite a while to explore. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, <laughs> wow, it just seems to go on and on. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to check all this out. I think the best thing to do first is probably going to be to talk to the mayor and get a kind of overview of what the options are. Well, Nora, it's the big day, the most, uh, our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like to participate by setting up a Grange display, I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you set everything up so we can get to the judging. Okay, um, I'm a bit worried that that'll, like, end the day if I do that too quickly. But, uh, let's, let's set it up now, just so it's out of the way. So, first thing we got is cheese, which I don't think is going to be worth particularly much, so I'm going to put it in the bottom. Next thing we got is... Uh, milk, and I'm only putting that in because we get rewarded by having a variety of things, so that's an artisan good. That is an animal product, um, but neither of them are worth particularly much in their own. Uh, this is this is uh, fairy rose honey, which I'm hoping will get us a lot, because although it is just honey, it's worth something like a thousand gold. So that should be a pretty good prize. A gold star pumpkin should be very good for the vegetable category. Uh, the angler should obviously be a very strong fish, it's a legendary fish after all. The purple mushroom for the foraging crat category. A uh, silver star ancient fruit for the fruit category. A diamond for the mineral category. And a pink cake for the fishing category. So there's a couple of weak things in there, but I think the rest of this stuff is all pretty strong. I think that should be a pretty strong display overall. I mean, it looks good to me. It looks a bit weird. I like I like the uh, position of the angler right in the middle there. I think that works pretty well. Uh, I don't know who this is. Tourist. It was a long bus ride here, but totally worth it. This valley is so beautiful. Simon loves it, don't you, Simon? <laughs> He's got like a bored look on his face. <laughs> That's a nice touch. Is that Abigail? I already beat all the games. Now what? Okay, um... Yeah, we need to actually... Look at getting tokens. I don't think the mayor's mentioned that. Oh, are you already finished setting up your Grange display? Okay, I'm gonna leave that till last, I guess. I... I guess? I don't know. Are you strong like me? Smash stone. Please stand at the red arrow. That was pretty good. <laughs> ha, now that's what I like to see. Here, have a star token. Strength level orc. Bulldozer. Oh, that was awful. Strength level hardened clay. I mean, this is, uh, this is... From, from what I remember, this is, like, not... I need to actually wait until it's gone up and down a couple of times. Okay, that's uh, that's not that's not quick enough for my liking. Let's see what we actually need to buy here. Okay, so dried sunflowers, furniture. Um, I'd like to get those ideally. I'd quite like to get everything, to be honest. So I'm I'm going to be aiming to get everything. The rare crow I definitely want, and the star drop is obviously like the most important thing in this section by far. So I think we are going to be pushing towards 2,000, and uh, this strength, this strength machine. Is definitely not fast enough for that, but it should give us something to kind of kick things off with, like to to wager or whatever. It's getting faster. That's not fair. All right, let's get one more. Okay, so we're up to our third token now. That actually took quite a while. <laughs> it was quite embarrassing. So uh, let's let's actually try some of these things out. Let's start off with these here. This fishing game here. Try your hand at some fishing, you could win big. Oh, you have to pay with real gold, that sucks. Alright, let's see what we get. Let's score one. Okay, so like, there's... I guess the items are judged on what they are. Now this is very easy. 
see how much this is worth. Since it's an actual fish, I expect it should be worth a lot more than trash, surely, but... Yeah, 23 from that. I'm not sure, like, how these translate, if that's the number of star tokens you get or something. Maybe you get extra points for doing it perfectly, so let's, uh, let's try and do that. Perfect. Uh, that looked pretty good, whatever that was, but I don't know if it got extra points for being perfect. Okay, fortunately we're getting a whole bunch of fish now, which is much better. Another perfect one, and we've already had one of those. I didn't see exactly how much that added. I think it was about the same amount as the last one though, so... Nothing particularly special. The, the timer is actually still going down even as we're fishing these things up, so that kind of sucks. Might be able to get two more, I hope. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any uh, any extra bonus points for doing it perfectly, but uh, obviously it does save some time. I doubt, I doubt we're going to be able to get another one now. Oh good, the timer stays frozen as you get your last fish, that's quite generous. Alright, so here we go, we got another one of those things, 131 in total. How many does that translate into? Oh, we do get a perfection bonus, and it's actually worth a hell of a lot. 204 star tokens coming from that, that's uh, that's actually really strong. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's very good, actually. That means we can already afford the bouquet. I think it's the bouquet, no, dried sunflowers. So let's just grab that, no reason not to, it's very cheap. Next thing we will try is this uh, this targeting minigame, I think. I, I don't know, slingshot. Play the slingshot game and win tokens. I've never used the actual slingshot in the normal game, so I'm not sure. What? Why is he shooting the wrong way? Oh, I see. What? <laughs> I'm really bad at this. You need to get used to, like, the speed at which these things fly. Damn it. Okay, so these red ones are clearly not worth all that much if it's giving me this many so easily. Uh, yes, got that one, that was worth five. Alright, so 75% accuracy, not sure what a difference that makes. 42 score in total. 75% accuracy, 1.5 times accuracy multiplier, reward 22 star tokens. That was so expensive and it got way less than the fishing minigame. I'm gonna give that one more try, now that I actually know to actually face in the right direction. But that, that was kind of weak. That's only worth two as well, so it's not like these uh, these blue ones are worth that much more. Okay, we're back at the extremely generous bit again. Oh dear, oh dear. Alright, well that's going to be my last try at that. We get only 62% accuracy at that time, so actually worse than the last time, but... Did get a higher score, a base score at least. Uh, no accuracy bonus, 15 star tokens. I am so done with this one. That is, that is just like, I can't even pretend to be anywhere near as good as the other stalls. That was just more expensive and less doable. Who the hell is this guy? Tourist, it's a fine looking town you got here, nice and cozy and a real sense of community. This seems like a strange thing to say for like some guy who's wearing shades in the autumn. Let's see how Marnie's doing. I tried my best but my display is pretty weak compared to Pierre's. 
Are you setting up a Grange display, Nori? It's your chance to show off all the good produce from Nori's. Yeah, thing is... Thing is, like, why, why are you encouraging more competition? I'm trying to beat you guys. My store carries the finest quality products in the whole valley. Please inspect my Grange display closely and see it for yourself. Hmm, cocky. Tourist, wow, that's the biggest cheese wheel I've ever seen. Very impressive. Okay, we could, looks like we got some uh, some animals here as well. That's interesting. <laughs> Moo. Ah, we're henpecked, my little finger. Can I interact with them? I, I don't know. The little kids are in the way. Just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up. Uh, a batch of pork ribs, yikes. <laughs> is Shane, let's see if he's still feeling like an asshole today. If I can get through here. All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. Okay, so he's, he's... It's weird, Shane. Sometimes he's extremely friendly and other times he's just a bit of a dick. These animals never judge people by their looks. The same can't be said for humans. You never know. Animals probably do judge people for their looks. You're probably just not aware of it. Not that I want to put that guy down since he's constantly kind of in a bad mood. Or not in a bad mood, but just kind of beating himself up. Hey, Nora, having a good time? Yes, it's not bad. It's kind of hectic today. I'm just going to hang out here for a while. Smoking. <laughs> Let's see, what do you do? I complain about my job sometimes, but I do take pride in my work. These are some of my finest pieces. I like you. I hope you like them. Why isn't he in the, the Grange display? That seems weird. I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work. Woodworking is an ancient tradition that I'm very proud to be a part of. Clint's blades get sharp every year. So do his prices. Not to my notice. Not to my knowledge. Robin works really hard on her carpentry stuff. She deserves a little recognition now and then. Yeah, well anyone who comes to my farm can see what she's been doing. Like, I pretty much depend on her. You know, I could've... I would've made a pretty good clown. I think I missed my calling. Can't interact with the clown. Jody, he doesn't look very happy. I guess Mayor Lewis had to cut costs with the budget clown with a budget clown this year. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's one thing. I mean, the the developer is currently looking for late game gold sinks. Maybe you could invest in the Stardew Valley Fair and improve the clown or something. And not that that would affect anything, but it's one potential option. I played the strength game too many times, and now my arms feel like rubber. Have you been to the fortune teller? She set up her stand in the graveyard. I didn't even think to look down there, but yeah, we'll go check that out. Better hurry up, kid, before old Pam here fishes every last lunker out of the tent. I'm surprised you're not off drinking somewhere, to be honest. Well, the wizards actually come to a festival, that's a first. I thought he was kind of condemned by everyone. Wellwick and I have known each other for a long time. She is a remarkable diviner and a good friend. Oh, that's so expensive, but yeah, go on, tell me about it. Ah yes, it's Marnie's birthday, she thought everyone forgot, but then you showed up with a nice gift. What a ni what a good friend, I don't remember that. 144, whoa, I'm getting tokens from this, seriously? No, is that just what I have left? I think that's just what I have left. Ooh, it's dark, and I, I see you and a certain young label lady. She looks a little bashful, but happy to be with you. Hmm, now what's this young lady's name? I believe it starts with a P, so that's obviously Penny. The crystal ball has moved on. Ah, you're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. Ah, the crystal ball has gone dim. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed. If you set your heart on it, farewell. Okay, um, so the only thing of note that I saw there is something about remembering Pan's birthday and... She thinks I'm going to marry Penny, which is obviously just based on the fact that she's <laughs> my current highest scoring single person, I suppose. For sure. That, uh, that was a bit of a waste of money. I don't know if I'll do that again. Have I spoken to this person yet? I'm not sure. Selling star tokens for just 50 gold apiece. No. That's not worth it. Speaking of Penny, I wonder if she's spoken to the fortune teller. I won the Wheel of Chance ten times in a row and now the man won't let me play anymore. Let's try it. Okay, now I've heard something about this, which is kind of cheating a little bit, because uh, it's not really fair, but I've heard that the green is significantly more likely to happen than the orange, which is pretty weird. Let's bet 10 on it, just to see if I'm right. I think it should be like... 
80 to 20 ratio or something. Oh, just winner. Good. Sure. Okay, let's try that again. This time with 20. Let's have another green. I'm just going to keep going for the green because I'm pretty sure that I did read somewhere that the green is way more likely. There we go. Green again. Can we win 10 times in a row? Let's go with 30 this time. Okay, another win. Yeah, it looks like, looks like it definitely is biased towards the green. This time we'll go with 40. Ooh, only just. No, no, that's actually fairly, fairly far into the green. Okay, now we go up to 50. This seems like the easiest way to get more star tokens. Like, it's almost guaranteed. And it's also completely effortless. Alright, yeah, it's definitely biased in my favour in a pretty big way. So we're now going up to 50, I think. Or I might have already done that, but... We've already more than doubled our star tokens, just from this Wheel of Fortune thing. So, might as well carry on with it. Ooh, nearly. Yeah, this is, like, extremely easy. I don't... I probably don't even need to win the Grange display because... Surely, like, if you have an unlimited amount of time... You can just keep doing this. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, we lost it. We lost it. For once. <laughs> Let's go up to 100. Let's just go all the way. Let's go all in. Go and get some of this money more easily. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have one more try of the fishing mini game, and then we'll go do the Grange display. Yeah, one more try of the fishing, then we'll go do the Grange display, then any... if we still need any left for the star token... not the star token... star token? Star drop. If we still need any left for the star drop or the rare crow, then we'll come here and get whatever we need. As you can see, it's, uh, it's given us a crap load of money, so... Should be fairly safe. Let's try this one more time. Whoops. Can I still get it in? Nope. Okay, 1 minute 30. Give me a difficult fish. Oh yeah, we get a perfection bonus actually, so... It's probably maybe a good thing that we don't get super easy fish all the time. That was worth a fairly standard 23. Oh no. I'm not gonna get a perfection bonus with this one, unfortunately. Perfect. Alright, so we're about halfway through this now. Damn it. Still, I don't think it matters, because like I said, the, the Wheel of Fortune just seems to be so badly rigged that no matter what happens, we should be pretty much guaranteed to get as many star tokens as we like. As long as we don't consistently roll the, like, 1 in 5 chance of getting an orange several times in a row. Hundred and four. this is going to be the last fish, if it is a fish. Let's hope we can get perfect on it. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> right at the last moment. That sucks. Alright, 5 fish caught, perfection bonus only 10 this time, and 72 star tokens, still better than that crappy slingshot. That slingshot place is absolutely awful. Uh, shall we now try the Grange display? Yes, let's do it, let's go for it. Actually, let's look for... Oh, there's more stuff up here. Oh, wow, okay, good thing that we didn't just instantly give up. 
Let's see what this is. This is another tourist. Man, I can't take another bite of this barbecue sandwich. So stuffed. This barbecue sauce is amazing. I'm trying to get Gus to tell me his sauce recipe, but he won't budge. It's the grumpy old man. Hmm, smoked turkey hunch. I guess this festival isn't all bad. <laughs> I wish Gus would include a vegetarian option. Some zucchini skewers, maybe. Eat as much as you like, it's all free today. Compliments of Mayor Lewis. Oh, really? Sweet. Does this affect anything? <laughs> I've already eaten four burgers. Five burgers. This is extremely unhealthy, surely. Are they all just burgers? Yes, they are. Okay. Well, that's going to be it then. Let's go and see if we win the Grange display. If we don't, we should be absolutely fine, as far as I can tell, just because of the Wheel of Fortune. But, uh, yeah, I think we got a good display there, so it would be nice to win just for the... Just for the, um... The pride. The pride of winning. The self-esteem boost. Ah, oh, he's judging it now. Can I get in his way? <laughs> you know, you don't get to judge the others. Just give me the prize. No, he goes straight through. Well, he looked, he looked like he was considering mine for a lot longer than Marnie's. Just kind of like instantly went straight through Marnie's, not give, not really giving a shit. And he's gone. No, he's walking past mine again. No, don't go. Don't give Pierre's. Don't give Pierre the win. Don't be doing that to me. Your Grange display has been judged. Return to Mayor Lewis for the result. Oh, I'm actually pretty nervous. I'm pretty nervous. Give me. Congratulations, you won first place with a rating of 99. Your prize is 1,000 star tokens. Spend them wisely. Oh, and don't forget to clean out your Grange display box. Excellent. Let's see what these guys have to say. I can't believe I lost. <laughs> I don't feel bad for you. You're the only one who was a little bit cocky. Well, I didn't win, but it was still satisfying to share all my hard work. I wonder how Willy would take it. Wow, I got a low score. I guess Mayor Lewis isn't much of a fish man. Oh well. Well, I did alright with my angler, so I'm not going to complain. Um, so yeah, the, I was actually pretty lucky here to have got the pink cake. Um, I could I could have easily got away without getting the angler as well. But uh, like I did get the mail like a couple of days ago from from mom, just giving me that pink cake for free, and I'm sure that definitely contributed contributed to how well we did. Let's bet. Let's go mad. Let's bet five hundred. This is how safe I feel. <laughs> this is how rigged I believe this is. Oh no, oh no, oh no. And yet... And yet I'm gonna do it again. And yes, this time we're gonna get them back. Perfect. And from there, let's just hope that we can kind of just snowball it all the way. Yeah, it's totally rigged. I could just keep doing this. I'm actually gonna go all the way and put a thousand on. Ooh, only just... No, no, that's decent. That's decently into the green. And there we go, another thousand there. I think we might actually already be able to buy everything just from this. This is... Like, you don't need to do the Grange display. I've been, I've been worrying about that for a little while, but... It seems that you really don't need to care about it. Because this is just the way to get all the star tokens you need. Oh no, that was borderline. That was so borderline. If I start getting loads of oranges now, I'm going to be a little bit suspicious. No, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's massively rigged in favour of the green. I mean, Penny said that she won 1,000 times in a row, no, 1,000 times, 10 times in a row, which suggests that the, the rigging was pretty deliberate. Oh, no. Okay. Well, at the moment, we're getting more like 50-50. 
Great. Screw it, let's go with 2,000. Let's try and get all the way to the maximum. Big gambler, and it pays off. Up to 5,000 now. You literally, you literally just don't need to care about the Grange display, you just come here and you get everything you want. You can keep betting on green and you'll have to be really unlucky to lose everything. You go up to 7,000 now. That's already enough to buy everything in the display, like several times over. Go up to 3,000. And if we win this time, that will push us over the 10k mark, which I think might be the maximum, just based on the size of the black box at the top left of the screen. Yeah, we're up to the maximum, 9,999 star tokens. So there we go, we've officially completely destroyed the Stardew Valley Fair. We can buy the whole thing out. Yes, let's get everything. Let's get a f Oh, I haven't got much space. Let's get the star drop. And we eat it straight away, just like the last episode. So that's two, there's two star drops in two episodes, which is not bad at all. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of killing. Your maximum energy level has increased. Alright, well, we still got more than enough star tokens for everything else we could want. Let's get that. Let's get that, and it's now out of stock, and we still have 6,000 spare tokens, which I'm guessing we can't translate into money or anything like that, or this would just be a completely broken, unlimited source of money. Star tokens for 50 gold apiece. <laughs> Anyone who comes here and doesn't try the Wheel of Fortune and actually buys them is just being completely mugged off. Anyhow, let's, uh... I think we're ready to end the festival, I think. Got everything back, we've got a full inventory. Yeah, it seems to me that we're ready to end the festival, so... How do we do that? Maybe I just leave the area. No, that doesn't work. In fact, I'm getting frozen up here, which kind of worries me. Don't want the game crashing after all that. Leave the Stardew Valley Fair. Once you do, the festival will end. Well, I'm glad that we did have a way to end the festival. I tried talking to Mayor Lewis, which is the usual way you end a festival, but it didn't work, so that actually got me really worried that uh, I might have just done all that for nothing. But yeah, the way you the way you exit is not by going via the beach. You just have to leave via the left, the western exit here. And it's now 10 p.m. at night. Uh, okay, we're definitely not going to have time to do the fishing quest for Willy. Uh, looks like we got some more fairy rose honey though, so that's all good. Uh, we've also got we've also got plus three foraging from the survival burger. So I guess what we can do, well, in just a moment, not quite yet. Let's uh, let's put this thing on. We now have a fedora. I I don't think it looks particularly good, and uh, the the fedora is something that the internet definitely seems to loathe. But uh, yeah, we have that now. <laughs> I guess it's uh, it's a start. I mean, we'll go and pick up a better hat at some point. Where should this go? Let's put it somewhere kind of unobtrusive. Maybe in the corner of the kitchen. I'm quite keen to do a little bit of wood chopping since we have a lot of a nice uh, a nice easy foraging bonus, which we haven't done anything whatsoever to earn. Alright, so let's sell some of this stuff now that we don't need it anymore. Let's sell the... No, we're not going to sell the Gold Star Pumpkin because we need that for... We need that for the... Um, for the Quality Crops Bundle. We don't need the milk, we don't need the cheese. We... I'm going to keep the Quartz just because there's always a use for that. I'm going to keep the Ancient Fruit. I'm going to sell the Fairy Rose Honey and... Um, the rest of this stuff... I'm gonna keep this stuff for now, I think. I'm gonna drop off. I've still got the this, the festival music still going on, I just noticed. That's uh, kind of annoying. It's kind of strange. So yeah, let's put that back in there. Um, I'd like to put the angler somewhere for safekeeping. Let me just try this. Apparently you can put things on tables. How true is that? No, definitely do not eat the angler. That would be like the biggest waste. 
biggest waste of an angler possible. Um, I'm going to need to get some wood out so that I can make a chest and then put that safely in the house somewhere. Can make some kind of, uh... Some kind of chest specially designed to hold our most valuable prized possessions, which I think should probably go over here at the edge of the room. Open that up and we'll put in... Not the rare crow, we'll put in the angler, just the angler for now. I think the rest of that stuff isn't as important. Definitely got one of eight of the rare crows. Definitely don't want to uh, get rid of the get rid of the rare crow, so we'll keep that somewhere. Um, where's where's least protected by the scarecrows right now? I'd say probably over down here. It's now midnight, which means we don't have long to do any wood chopping. But I, I'm going to do what I can, so. I'll get some of that done, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Oh no, I think I left- yeah, I've left it too late, damn it, damn it, okay. <laughs> That was actually completely pointless because we had more than enough energy to deal with any of that stuff anyway. We haven't leveled up in anything, which isn't too surprising because uh, it was just a day at the fair today. The farming stuff. Uh, the fairy rose honey this time was actually worth less, so I'm not sure what was up with the other time where I sold five of them for 5,000 gold. That seems really strange. I'm not sure what triggered that. Unless there were six and I misread it or something. Uh, the cheese, worth a nice amount. Milk, worth an okay amount. Ancient fruit, 825 gold. That's not bad at all. Uh, the grapes were collectively worth an okay amount, and we got a total of 3,800 coming in there. Hopefully we won't have been charged too much for being dragged back into the house. It's now the 17th of fall, and... Today, I'm not actually, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do today. It's just, uh, it's just a normal sunny day. Oh, I really hate this fedora. <laughs> I might actually just take it off and just wear nothing. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got mail of some kind, we got, uh, we got a bunch of crops available once again, and I think what I'm going to do with this day will be probably to do some foraging and look towards getting a, a coop upgrade. It looks like our, uh, our stone fences have begun to degrade, which is interesting. But yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be it for this episode, so I will hopefully see you guys next time when we'll be upgrading the coop and seeing what this mail is, and just generally progressing. So yeah, see you then guys.